Ah! Hey! Hey, fuck you, buddy! Hey, what is he need? What is he get penalized? He's the one who bumped into me. Mister, I'm a, I'm in such a look. He's drunk. I'm, I'm drunk too. Welcome everybody to Falcon Plays Jalopy: The Grand Journey East. What this game entails itself as is essentially kind of like a procedurally generated road trip adventure through the former Eastern Bloc territories around the rise of capitalism um, around this time. Essentially, what you're trying to do is get from one area to the other one while keeping your car running. Meaning you'll have engine troubles, you have to make sure that you have enough fuel, enough water, oil, carburetor issues, etc, etc. Between these little jumps from one area to the other one, you'll be able to actually go to stores, buy different parts to upgrade your vehicle, make it go faster, run more efficient. You'll also find other items you can actually pick up and sell, such as contraband. However, when you go through like checkpoints and stuff like that, if you have contraband and you get caught, you might be in trouble, obviously. Um, it's a really fun little title, and it comes out in early access on the 22nd for everybody. And I'll have an updated build by then as well. So, um, think of this as just more of a teaser. And then once this releases um, on early access completely, I'll be covering the full version, or not the full version, but the early access version going forward. June 23rd, 1990. The Berlin Wall has fallen, causing a ripple of political change throughout the East. My uncle, after years of service to the state, has been rewarded with the unrestricted access of a Leica 601 Deluxe Motor Vehicle. With this newfound freedom, we plan to head east to his Burtland. Excellent. So, this is going to be confirmed, right? We want to do a new save, obviously. Wake up! Ah, I hate mornings so much. Why would you wake me up this way? Ah, finally awake. Hmm, stay in bed any longer and the day will make fools of us both. Alright, that's probably my uncle. Come now, I have something important to show you. Come, come, it's just outside. Alrighty, well, one second, uncle. Am I even dressed? Can I even go, like, wash my face or something, wash my mouth? No? I'm gonna go my PJs, I guess? Cool, that's fine. Can I mess around with you? Oh, I definitely can. Alrighty. Let's go up and around over here and see what my uncle's got to say. Can I open you guys just yet? Not just yet. Soon, soon we will open those, though. How's it going, Uncle? How's it going, buddy? This here is a Leica 601 Deluxe. Something of an engineering legend in the GDR. 0 to 600 kilometers an hour in 22.5 seconds. A top speed of 100 kilometers per hour, all at the economical rate of 25 mpg. That is, if we can get her running. Not to worry, I have everything ready. We just need to build her an engine, slap on some wheels, fit the passenger side door, and give her a bit of a clean. So let's get started. Fit the replacement door, it's over on the top of the scrap pile behind you. If you squint, you'll be able to see it. Look, dog, I don't even- I, I can barely drive. <laughs> you want me to put a fucking vehicle together now? What is this, Legos to you? Can you, um... Yeah, yeah, I got you. Squint. That's the door you mean? Okay, I got it. I got it. You can't jump in this game, but I got this door. Boom. What I like about the game is you can actually pick up multiple items at once. I'll show that off pretty soon here, but... Let's go ahead and put my door in. Oh, it is like Legos. Perfect. <laughs> it's that easy to build a card? Oh my god. Less than elegant, but it's on. Right? Now let's fit the engine. If you open the driver's side door, you'll see a black latch. Pull that and it will release the bonnet. You got it. I don't even know what the fuck a bonnet is. <laughs> I'm not kidding. You, you think I joke about not driving? I don't drive for shit, man. I walk everywhere. Public transportation. I live in a really big metropolis area, man. It seems like a hassle to have to drive. Can you see it? It's a black latch. You should be under the steering wheel. Yeah, I think it, that's it right here. All right. That's it. Pull that. There we go. That's it. You got it. Okay, now open the bonnet and I can walk you through this. So, the bonnet is what? What are you telling me is the bonnet? That's a, that's the hood, man. Even I know it's a hood. Oh, that's the bonnet. Okay. So, as you can see, she needs an engine. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she needs a lot more than an engine, my friend. <laughs> this is completely barren. Even I, who don't know shit about cars, can tell you that there's everything missing in here. I've got a load of stock parts set in the garage. Go collect one and I'll walk you through what it does. Collect one? Why one? I'll collect all three of them at once. You can carry three up to, um, three items at once in this game. It's so handy. So, let's see. Stock air filter. This will tell you, like, um, the reduction. Yo, dog! I got it! I got it! This will tell you, like, um, what it does, the stats for it. And as I mentioned, you'll be able to upgrade these as you go on in your journey. Uh, it's going to cost you more money, obviously, but you'll get more durability, better performance, etc., etc. And that's going to be based on the money you acquire from finding stuff. And as I mentioned, contraband, you can do that as well. Um, so right now, I'm going to pick up the engine. We'll take pick up a battery, and we'll pick up, I guess, the stock air filter as well. So you can carry up to three items at once. That's really nice in video games, you know? Like... I'm not even talking about like having an inventory where you could actually st store a lot of things, like in Skyrim or something, for instance, just as an example. 
But the fact that you can carry three items in your hands at once, it's just like really neat. You don't see that too often. Uh, that's the engine block you got there, the core of your Leica setup. The engine block defines core performance of your Leica, including top speed and acceleration. A poorly kept engine block will mean your Leica will struggle to perform. I I'm saying that correctly, right? Leica? Or is it Leica? Ah, whatever. Go ahead, drop it into the engine. Okay, well, I, I think we might have to um, drop some stuff here momentarily. That's the battery which proves the electrical charge uh, for your Leica. The battery allows you to use lights, the radio, the car ignition, that kind of thing. If the Leica won't start, the first place to check is the battery. Go ahead, drop it into the engine. Oh, I guess I should have done that, but I'll do that soon. Let me get, have him give me the description of all these items to get it out of the way. Okay, you're holding the air filter, a non-essential component. The air filter isn't necessarily required to run your Leica, but it's a good idea to have one as it will reduce the rate of wear to your engine block. Go ahead and drop it into the engine. Okay, cool. Let's um, drop this here. What I want to do is just grab all the items so that we're ready to kind of um, go. And not have to come back over and over here. So let's see, we'll pick up the stock ignition coil. This and that, we'll have to come back for one more trip for the fuel tank, however. That's okay. I'm coming, Uncle. Tell me about these items, please. I don't know shit about cars. The little thing is the ignition coil. The ignition coil channels an electrical charge to start the engine. An ignition coil that's in bad condition may struggle to start the engine. Go ahead and drop it into the engine. <laughs> okay, hey, let me just put that one in right now. There you go. That's the water tank, which provides water to help your windscreen... Keep your um, windscreen clean from dirt. Oh. Now that one sounds like more of a non-essential item than the... Um, whatever the other one was that you called a non-essential item. The air filter. I feel like this is less important than the air filter, Uncle. Keep it in good condition or it'll start to leak water and you'll find yourself driving without any vision. Okay. Well, I guess driving without no vision might be pretty bad as well, but still. I mean, in terms of making sure the car runs properly, the filter, the air one, might be more important than a water tank. Maybe. I don't know shit about cars, I mentioned. Right, that's a carburetor which controls the fuel consumption of the car, which in turn controls what MPG you'll get out of your Leica. A good, well-maintained carburetor will mean you lose less fuel, and you can drive further for cheaper. Go ahead and drop it into the engine. Okay. Uh, there you go. Set her down. Okay, cool. And we have one more item. Let me go ahead and pick that up here really quickly. So that we don't have to do it afterwards. It's gonna be the... Oh, the fuel tank. Pretty essential item, I would say. Cars might need fuel to run. That much even I know. That big lunk of metal is the fuel tank, which holds the fuel of your Leica. A few notes on this one. First of all, it's gravity-fed, so you'll need to open the bonnet and fill it directly to the tank when refueling. Also, your Leica is running a two-stroke engine. This means you'll want to mix in some oil to the fuel mixture. Failure to mix oil into the fuel would mean engine won't be lubricated. <laughs> oh, yeah, it'll be lubricated, right, Uncle? And will wear at an increased rate. Too much oil, though, and you'll start to see performance drops. Keep your fuel tank well-maintained and let it go... Don't let it get too beaten up, and it will start leaking fuel everywhere. Go ahead and drop it into the engine. Okay. There you go. Cool. Now let's go ahead and put on the other parts, the battery. It's going to go right over here. And we have the, the apparently the non-component essential part of the vehicle. I beg to differ, un different, Uncle. And we have the stock engine as well. Let's go ahead and boom. Just place it right through the items there. Okay, that's everything installed. Good job. It's exactly like Legos. I picked the wrong profession in life, man. I should have been a mechanic. It's this easy to build a car? Thank God. Wrong decisions. Uh, we still need to fill the car with petrol, oil, water. There should be a can of fuel, a bottle of water, and a bottle of two-stroke oil in the garage. Go ahead and collect them, and I'll walk you through refilling the car. You got it, my friend. You got it. And then we have to get tires as well, don't we? Yeah, we do. That's where the tires are at. I know, because I played it before. <laughs> okay. Big, big spoilers here, huh? Oh, you played the game before, Falcon? How fucking dare you know the story? Um, good. That's the kind of fuel you're holding there. Oh, really? Is that what that is? Fuel. Huh. I would have never known. If you use that on fuel cap on the fuel tank we just installed, then you'll begin filling the car with fuel. Okay, let's do that right now. Bom, bom, bom. Put all of it in there. No reason not to um, fill this on up. Hopefully the gas prices are pretty good here in the Eastern Bloc territories. Go ahead and drop that if you're done with it. Sure. Uh, you got a bottle of water? Good job. <laughs> I'm a bit thirsty after all. If you use that on the water tank we installed, then we can fill fill her with water. Okay. Fill it up. Go ahead and drop that if you're done with it. I guess. Can I drink some? Uh, that's a bottle of two-stroke oil you've in your hands. You'll want to add a drop of it to improve the fuel mixture, which affects things like performance and engine wear. 
A lean mixture will result in a faster car, but would increase wear to the engine. A rich mixture, or, or at least a rich mix, will result in the opposite. Try using it on the full, on the full tank of fuel to affect the fuel mixture. Okay. So just a little bit, you're saying, right? So just a small little drop. Go ahead and drop that if you're done with it. Excellent. Let's move on to the tires. Okay, let's go about getting some tires on the car. So as you can see, we won't get very far without any wheels. There's a car jack over in the garage. Bring it over and we can get it started. <laughs> A car jack. Look at this guy. Let's bring some tires along, too. Hey. What do you got, uncle? Okay, place the jack under the car. I'm not sure why he suddenly has an accent when he's been talking, like, you know, relatively decent English thus far. Um, let's place that right over here. Now, just twist the handle. I, I got tires on me, though. One second. All right. Hold on. One second. Let me just drop the tires. As a matter of fact, let's just pick up the last two tires because we're going to need them anyway. Boom, boom, boom. Tire, tire. And as you can see, you see the price over here? You could sell this for 20 you could buy them for 50 This is the whole money aspect that I talked about. That's where you could kind of do the whole contraband thing, because you need money to upgrade your car over time, obviously. Um, all right, right, you want me to bring the car up? You'll notice you can now use the tire iron, but first we'll need to fit the road tires. Go ahead and drop that. Fine. Get on out of here. Let's pick up a tire. And we'll just go ahead and... Put her on right over here. I'll tighten it when I'm ready, okay? And let's put this over here. And let me pick up my iron. And... God damn it. I always have that issue all the time with this game. Place that over here. Like, you have to get it right on the little... There you go. See that? If it's like this, you'll pick up the tire. But you got to get in a small little area right here. All right. And hold up. Yeah, yeah, I get it, Uncle. Get out of the way. Thanks for helping out, by the way. I like how this guy's like a mechanic over here, like an expert mechanic, but I'm the one doing all the fucking work. I'll be in the car. You may want to load the trunk with any spares left over in the garage. You can never be sure what you need on the road. I guess we'll give him that voice after all. Why not? <laughs> we'll just ignore that he's been talking the regular English for the, the time so far, and now he just has an accent. So let me pick this up. Um, and let's, um, we're ready to go. So at this point, what you want to do is just kind of store all these extra items. At least I think it's a good idea, because obviously, if you, have, if you get like a bad tire on the road, you're going to need this jack again. And I'm also going to grab these items right here. Put them on my trunk and go. There's no reason not to. I guess it's going to affect your weight over time. But I don't think it's a bad idea to have these items with you just in case. I know that the fuel thing is empty, but we might be able to steal fuel or something. And if we need to steal fuel, we could probably just put it in this gas canister. And other than that, let's see what's out, what else is available here. There's a set of tools which you could actually sell, so I'll take that, and we have a bucket. You know, we might need to clean our car on the road, so... <laughs> take all this shit with me, you know. Things you find normally in a car, a bucket with water and a sponge, you know. Yeah. Alright, so that's closed off now, and... You need to bring yourself down, okay. Uncle, I think we're ready to go! I think we're ready to go, Uncle! Ah, she's running! Let me put some volume on so I can hear what's happening here. Alrighty, Uncle. Now what? Oh, right. It's probably on brake. <laughs> uh, you want me to drive a stick shift, too? Oh, this is the worst driving experience ever for me, then. Okay, here we go. Yeah! Should I go through this, Uncle? No? You want me to turn? Fine, we'll turn. And so begins our journey. Alrighty. Head towards Dresden. You got it. I gotta keep my eyes on the road here. We'll be traveling to the Autobahns for this first part. This should be give you a chance to get to grips with the Leica. Alright, here we go. Dresden. Avoid incoming traffic, you're saying? You got it. You absolutely got it. We have a giant tank over here as well. I ain't got time for you guys to be um, slowing down over here, so if you don't mind, I'll just go up and around. <laughs> ah! Penalty! I got your penalty right here, buddy. Don't tell me you're going to penalize me for getting into a car crash. Who does that? Car crashes happen all the time. It's part of life. Uncle, are we fine? I, I, I guess Uncle would yell at me if I did something wrong. I gotta pay $10 when we get um, to the next location, I think, I guess. Maybe we don't have to pay it. Maybe I'll be a criminal scumbag and never pay my tickets in time. You don't tell me what to do, game. I make my own rules over here. You gave me access to a procedurally generated world where I could smuggle contraband, and, you know, I will not pay shit. So I'll go through our journey a little while with you. Why is this guy faster than us, Uncle? I'm I'm putting the foot to the... Did I just blink? I just blinked. I blink constantly. What does that do? I don't know what that does. What does this one do? 
Unhazard's a one. Oh, no, no, I think I did something wrong. <laughs> and that was it. The check, the Slovak Federic, Federated Republic uncle I'm trying to drive. 40 years now, and now a wall falls over to decide to change the name. Hope that... Oh, I turned the blinkers on. Okay, no, we don't need those. We're fine. Okay. Um, I want to, like, spray <laughs> my car, my window with some water. Ah! Hey! Hey, fuck you, buddy! Hey, what is he need? What is not he get penalized? He's the one who bumped into me. Mr. I'm, a, I'm in such a... Look, he's drunk! I'm, I'm drunk, too. Look, he's drunk. He's over here just, like, you know, wavering from one side of the road to the other one. Penalize his ass. Look, see, he can't even keep it straight. <laughs> uh, I'm not talking about his penis. But the border, I've got all the paperwork sorted here. Yeah, you shouldn't need to worry. Just make sure we're not trying to take any banned goods across the border. Uh-huh. That's why I talked about the contraband thing earlier. Okay. Well, what does this do? Ah, some lights. I like it. No, but really, how do I... How do I clean the... Ah, watch out. He should watch out behind me. Look at this piece of shit. I need to find, like, the... The, the carpool lane or something. I'm driving with a man that keeps talking to me constantly, he keeps, you know, just making me lose my focus. Okay, we're fine right now. I like how I could just completely turn my body around too while I'm driving. <laughs> you know? Stop, 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 stop. Stop. There's the town, we should head straight to the motel and get a room for the night. We'll cross into the CSFR tomorrow morning. So, are we, are we fine now? I guess we have to pay a penalty when we get here, though. That's unfortunate. Uncle, you got the penalty, right? Yeah, you got it. I'm the one driving here, you pay the penalties. There's the motel park outside the front. Uh, which one is it? I think it's the Leica. Uh, Nobody saw that. Shut up, Uncle! Nobody saw that. <laughs> uh, good evening, Officer! No, I haven't been drinking. What do you mean? Alright, over here we have uh, Outer Shop. Okay, here so we'll be able to buy some... Oh, the motel's here. Alright, perfect. Hey, we found it. We found it. We'll be able to buy some items over there and sell items as well, mind you. So you're going to park right here, huh? Okay. Okay, I got this. Parking. Even harder than driving for the first time. Okay. That, this is fine, Uncle, okay? Fuck, fuck proper parking, okay? Let me turn lights off. How did we do this again? That, there you go. Okay, good. Let's check in. <laughs> oh my god, we made it here in one piece. I think. My car's all fucked up. We made it in one piece. Alright, guys. We're gonna wrap it up here for this episode. Um, this is a small little taste of what this game's all about. Um, you could go in there, as a matter of fact, and check in. Um, there's a shop over there to buy and sell some stuff, as a matter of fact. I could go ahead and sell those tools if I wanted to, etc., etc. But... We'll look more into this once the early access build comes out tomorrow on the 22nd. Um, we'll be shifting over to that build. If I don't see a really big difference between the start of the pre-alpha demo to the um, early access build, which I really doubt, we'll probably just I'll probably do the progress off camera and we'll pick up from this point onward. Unless something really crazy happens that I have to show on camera or something. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. Um, the information for the video game will be all in the description below. Check it out if you want to. I will catch you next time.